Yeah, this is my second print. As you can see, it is nearly the point where it failed last time. The part just went off on it. I don't know exactly what happened. I did notice that the power plug was a little bit loose, so I'm hoping that was the issue. I'm uh, keeping an eye on the heat of the power converter. I believe that might be the issue too. I'm just blowing on it every so often to see if I can get this print to complete. It is now past the point where it failed on the last one. Not 63% complete. Been printing for about 90 minutes according to the screen. Once again, there's no, there's nothing on the glass, it's just straight glass. I didn't put anything on it to make it adhere. It is a heated bed, so I'm sure that that's part of the reason why it's stuck this long. I fully expect it to pop off by now. Not 72 percent, been 10 minutes. I'm just completely amazed that it has printed this well without any real fine tuning. All I've done is adjusted the, the height of the print bed one time and uh, just adjusted everything thing that direction and made sure everything was even. and. Uh, had some issues, I had to download uh, Fedir on the computer, and then I uh, just downloaded this uh, off of Thingiverse, 
and put it through uh, the slicer and then save it to the SD card and right out here. I have never hooked this up to, a, to the computer yet. So it's got no firmware updates or anything on it. Once again, this is pointed at, printed at 0.3 layer height, 10% infill. That's the reason why it looks so rough. But yet, when you feel it, it's not that rough. You do see the lines in it, but it's not as rough as you'd think it is when you actually feel it. It's 93% finished. It should print an eyelid at the top of it for a keychain. Yeah, I thought the eyelet was going to be a tall order. <laughs> it's fallen off the back side of it. And it is complete. Thank you for watching.